Hey guys, it's CC back here again with you with another video. Today, I actually want to go over a question we had in our Facebook group. And this was actually a, a really important question I wanted to address. And actually, it, this gives me the opportunity to address a couple of other things regarding uh, the basic things you need in order to get your business up and running, right? So whenever we start, we could get in the analysis paralysis phase where we just want to focus on the administrative part of things and the things that actually don't get us paid, which is ultimately talking to sellers. We want to be talking to sellers as soon as possible. However, it is important to get a few things set up before we start and not taking that long to do this. So this question right here basically is asking us, is there any way I can cover, um, you know, business naming, business setup, and how that could benefit our marketing efforts? Well, I'll address this last question here first. And uh, by the way, guys, this, this video is more catered towards people just starting. This isn't a real advanced video, but this is important. Maybe if you're advanced, you go take some nuggets from it. You know, I always think there's something you can learn whether or not you know the basic fundamentals or not. Uh, so just wanted to put that out there for you guys. But so how can naming affect or benefit our marketing efforts? Now, personally, guys, I don't think it's going to affect it that much because you're not going to be using your LLC name in your marketing. You don't want to do that, especially if you're doing direct mail. You don't want to be using your specific LLC name and your home address because I know a lot of people do this from their home. You could have a whole bunch of crazy people just show up at your house. <laughs> now, I did this whenever I first started, and I'm actually surprised I didn't have anybody crazy show up at my front doorstep. But for about a year, I was doing direct mail. I was using my personal uh, home address and our LLC name. You know, So you don't want to do that because you risk yourself actually being liable for, I don't know, lawsuits and stuff like that. I mean, don't quote me on that, but it, it just reduces your legal liability and your footprint out there if you actually do not disclose your LLC. You know, if you're not doing anything wrong, you don't really have to worry about this. But still, this allows me to sleep easier at night knowing that a whole bunch of, you know, sellers that may not be too happy with me marketing to them in a cold way, actually having my business name. So with all that being said, guys, you're not going to be using your LLC name in your marketing. You can do a DBA. So if you're doing business as a certain company name, then you could do that. So let's just say your name is Garland Ventures LLC, but I do business as the Charleston City Home Buyers, right? So that's a DBA. And I can file that in each of the counties I'm actually doing business in. Or you could just say that you're, you know, Charleston City Home Buyers, LO, uh, Charleston City Home Buyers. You could just say that you are. You know, you don't have to as long as nobody else is using it. That's a very great area. But with that being said, don't get caught up on this sort of thing, guys. You know, you could have your LLC name, one name, and you could just be marketing in a completely different name. So that's what I do right now. I use a, a not an LLC name as my fictitious name, but actually a just regular um, gender neutral name like Alex or Blake or Morgan. That's what I use in my marketing. I just say, hey, I'm Morgan, interested in buying your property at 123 Main Street. And then as they come into our fold, so let's just say, yes, they're interested. Then at that point, our acquisitions team will come in after they're thoroughly vetted and they'll say, hey, we're actually XYZ home buyers. And we'll disclose our actual company name to them. Because at that point, we have a lead that we know wants to do business with us. So let's go ahead and jump over to our. Google document right now and talk about the basic things we need to do whenever we're actually setting up our company. So whenever we're starting, if I were a new wholesaler, these are the things I would do. I wouldn't do anything extra admin wise other than this. You don't have to pay an attorney to do this. You can do this by yourself in your own state. So what I'll do here is let me go ahead and just highlight this in yellow. So the LLC name, let's not overcomplicate this guys. We're going to use our last name or our city or the nickname of your city and just do homes or investments or home buyers and do LLC. It's that simple. So I'll give you an example. My last name is Garland. So I can do Garland Homes 
LLC. And a lot of people may say, well, you know, can't people just look up my LLC, all the home buyers, and, you know, I, I have potential, you know, people targeting me because I'm, uh, I'm an investor or a potential house flipper. Okay, if you don't want to do that, just use, you know, Garland, your last name, investments, LLC. That's very vague. Or my last name, Garland Home Buyers LLC. You can mix this up. Or Garland Business Ventures. It doesn't have to be specific to real estate. And this is just an arbitrary name. It's literally for you to be able to get money in this account. You want to have an LLC because whenever you co-wholesale, and I know a lot of people get their start whenever they have a deal and they can't move because they may not have cash buyers. Whenever you co-wholesale, you just get looked at a little bit more seriously by other wholesalers if you have an LLC. I know somebody came to me and they said they had a deal and I'd say, okay, send over your uh, your joint venture or co-wholesaling documents. And it had their name on it and not an LLC. I'd be like, okay, this person is new. And this deal that they're probably giving me is probably garbage because they don't have an LLC set up. So on top of that, you know, there's other, um, you know, tax related issues and all that stuff we won't get into in this video. It's just best to have this and get this set up before you close your first deal. You don't have to market in order to, or you, you don't have to have this in order to start marketing, right? We don't have to. We just want to have this by the time we close our first deal because then it looks all nice and pretty whenever it's on the HUD. So that is what I would do for the LLC name. Just don't complicate it. You should be able to find an LLC in your state where you could use one of these combinations of, uh, of words in order to find a LLC name that's not taken. And we also had another question. I want to address this. Somebody did ask me, do they have to create an LLC in each market that they may be virtually wholesaling is? And no, you do not. You just create one LLC and that's it. And yeah, you could be wholesaling in California and be located in Atlanta, Georgia, and your LLC will be in Georgia your home state. You don't have to create LLCs in different states. So just wanted to uh, clarify that as well. So the next thing we want to do guys is actually go on our state secretary of state site and register our LLC. So these are super easy to find. You just go on Google and you do your state. So my state, South Carolina, and I will do secretary of state and it'll either say um, business entity search corporation search, form an LLC, something like that. Most of these are available online. I'm telling you, South Carolina is really old school and we are just here in the South and we're behind with a lot of things. And they just put ours online within, I think maybe like a year ago, a year, year and a half ago. So that's available online now. When I first started in 2015, it took us a month and a half to type up our LLC paperwork, download it, send it to their office and for it to get approved. I was like waiting by my mailbox every day just to see if it came in and it took a while. Now everything's online. So I know if South Carolina's Secretary of State Business LLC formation is online, it has got to be in other states because like I said, we're just really behind when it comes to this type of stuff. So it takes a day or a week at the most in most states. So go to Google, find your Secretary of State site and you could do this yourself. You don't have to pay an attorney. $500 or anything. What it typically costs, uh, anywhere from $100 maybe to $400, depending on your state. I know California and New York it is sort of pricey, but if it's pricey there, what you could always do is just register one in another state and, <laughs> you know, that it's less expensive and just use that LLC. Some of them may not even require you to have like a physical, like post office box or anything there. You could just register it in another state. So, that's what I would do. Now, the next thing we need to do, guys, is actually register our EIN. And basically, basically your EIN is your, um, it's like your company's social security number. So you want to have this and you want to do this as soon as you get your LLC paperwork back from the Secretary of State. You want to go and register your EIN. It's so important, guys. And here is the link for that. But what you can do as well is just go to Google and say, hey, IRS EIN creation. And it will be like the first one that pops up. 
Trust me, the IRS wants your money. They make it super easy to find them so you can register your EIN so you can pay taxes. <laughs> so it's not that difficult to find. But you're going to want to do that. It takes about 10 minutes. It's super quick. And just make sure, guys, whenever you complete this, you are going to want to download the page once it's completed because once you exit out of that page at the end that has all your information on it, and it's going to look like a really official document you are going to, uh, you're not going to be able to access this easily. Trust me, I created an LLC. I think it might've been my first one in 2014. And I was looking for that EIN everywhere. I could not find it. I don't know if it was on an old computer or what. And it, it's just pretty much impossible to figure out what your EIN is after that without waiting on the phone for like three hours from the, with the IRS. So just remember to download that page and keep that because you're going to need this to open up a bank account. You're going to need this to do uh, a few other things if you want to get business funding. Um, things really like specific uh, to do your taxes, things like that. So make sure we have this access to this. So those are the things you want to do whenever you first start, guys. It, there aren't a lot of things. Notice I didn't say anything about building a website, our business cards, our gosh, there's so many things are reading a hundred books, understand wholesaling. And then what's going to happen is you're going to have to go out here and get experience and look stupid. You're going to get embarrassed. You're going to say the wrong thing. You're going to get stuck on the phone, but these are all the things that need to happen in order for you to actually learn. So if you're sitting here watching this video and you haven't done your LLC yet and registered your EIN and you're thinking about how you're going to design your website and all this stuff, guys, it's not important. Trust me, I spent a month and a half designing my website when I first started. And guess what? Up until, gosh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think I generated any leads with that website. And I don't think I had any sellers ask me what my website was, right? So if somebody's asking you what your website is, you think that's going to make or break the deal? No, because they're not motivated. It helps having those things, but it's not necessary to get to motivated sellers. Motivated sellers don't ask you any of those things. They don't care. They just want you to solve their problem. So I hope that answers some questions that you guys have. If you guys have any questions or want me to make any videos on any topic at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me via Facebook message or drop a, drop a comment on this video, either in the Facebook group or on YouTube. Hope you guys are having a great day.